Hey YouTube, it's RJ and you're watching 87 R Johns. I have a fabulous, super awesome Dollar Tree haul for you all today. I haven't been in a little while and I love the stuff I got. It's very random, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, starting with this guy right here. Um, I was getting another mug all ready to fill my video with some tea and I was like, oh my gosh, I got this super cute little bear mug and he has like, I think this is like the part of his hat coming down and I'm drinking some Lipton passion fruit green tea in him and I'm going to set him aside because he is quite hot. I also got some other holiday items. Got two packs of these gold, sorry, silver ornaments. As you can see, my tree only has a teeny tiny ornaments on it right now. We decided to go with an only silver tree and so we needed some larger size ornaments. So I got two of those. Um, and oh, how many are in here? A decent amount, 12 for a dollar. So that was a really good find. And there are plain silver and glittery ones. Then I got this Justin Bieber wrapping paper. So it says Justin in, oh, it says Justin Bieber in these big sparkly letters. And then it has his face right there, which um, this is for, I will be wrapping a gag gift in this, but I mean, hey, can you really ever have enough Justin Bieber? <laughs> yeah, let me know in the down part your answer to that question. I also got this little owl. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I've seen so many people hauling these, um, and I don't want to try to guess who hauled them because I watch, I feel like, a million Dollar Tree haul videos every night. It's like my favorite thing to do, so who knows who hauled these? Probably all the Dollar Tree haulers, but look how cute he is. Don't you know why we all hauled him or her? I think I will name him. Mr. Owl. Man, I am bad today. I don't know what I will name you. So cute. Um, and it is actually for your coins. And it does look like in the bottom you can like take the coins out. I'm not going to be putting coins on him. He'll probably go back here on this little scape. I'm not really into knick-knacky doodads, but I had to have him. Um, then I got these socks, which are for me. I love wearing fuzzy socks and drinking my tea at night. And who does not want to have like little Santa feet? <laughs> I just think it's fun. And they were a dollar, so if they only last me this season, that's fine. And they're just called socks. And on the front, it says size 9 to 11. Although I think these look really tiny. I don't have size 9 feet, but um, if they're large, they'll just be all the more cozy. The last two holiday items I got are two Santa beards. So on these lollipops actually is just the beard. So that's why I got them. They're for my brothers who cannot grow beards, although they have like that peach fuzz thing going on. So I thought this would be funny to like tie on the top of their gift as um, like a little decor. And then I can tell them that this is probably the closest to a beard they will ever get. <laughs> um, next, some random items. I got tea light candles because I have burned out all my tea lights. So I needed some more. Dollar Tree is the best deal, I think. Then I got this poster tack which whenever the Dollar Tree has this, I pick it up because it holds stuff on the wall pretty well and I'm a teacher and this stuff is a must have. I got two packs of balloons, all yellow for a science lab I am doing with my students tomorrow. And the last random things I got were these Common Core um, like little practice books. So this one is for division. This one is multiplication. And this one is subtraction. Um, I'm a middle school teacher, so these will be mainly just for students who are struggling, particularly division. So some students who struggle with borrowing still in middle school um, is really going to cause them trouble when they're trying to do long division, which, in case you didn't know, subtraction is a step of long division. So there are just some really cool things in here. Um, if you're not familiar with the Common Core, it's kind of like this media buzzword right now. Put all that in your back pocket and ignore the hoopla. Um, so basically, this just reinforces some basic facts about division, but it's colorful. It has kind of like a game where you try to find the facts. So it has like a little bit of a mind trick. So, um, and it reinforces the word right here, dividend, divisor, and quotient. I'm not sure what order they come in. So um, I think they reinforce some key points that 
cutesy division practice can leave out. It just really focuses on the math and really understanding how division works. Same with the subtraction and multiplication books. They're teacher approved, so if you want to have something for your kid to work out at home, um, I would totally recommend these for a dollar. I mean, you can't go wrong. All right, now you can take all that Common Core business back out of your pocket and keep it wherever you want. Moving on, um, I got two napkins. Every year I host a holiday party, and um, being that I am still young and single and live in apartments, I don't have full entertaining wear, um, being linen napkins and a lot of linen things I'm lacking in. So for my holiday party, I still go with paper. And, um, oh, I totally forgot to bring out the invitations. I have these awesome Martha Stewart invitations that I sent out for the holiday party. And it has a silver background, and then the invitation is printed on the front with this border. It matches amazing. I'm totally going to insert a clip right here. Yeah, these match perfectly, don't they? I was so happy to find these at the Dollar Tree. All right, I got a couple food items. I got pepperonis because they just look good, and I was in the mood for some pepperoni. And a full-size box of Cheerios Dark Chocolate Crunch. I don't know. They just look delicious, and I like to have cereal on hand for, like, dessert-type things. I don't even want to know what the sugar count in here is and all that. I eat cereal as a dessert item. So that sounds delicious. Um, a few beauty items I got, starting with the most boring, is the Pure Silk um, Shaving Gel, whatever. Um, and then I was so excited to find the Revos, the little mini circular lip balms. Um, these are going to be gifts for some girlfriends, and I was so, so happy to find these. I've been looking forever, and Deb Anderson hauled them a couple, like, her last haul, and I wrote it down. I was on a mission to find these, and I did. Um, I also picked up a Wet n Wild white polish. They had a lot of white polishes in, and I love that because white and black polishes are polishes. Polishes are a great base. It's something that I always have in my nail polish kit. Um, for example, now this whole background is black with some other stuff on top. And so I run out of those very frequently. And I chose this French White Cream by Wet n Wild. Um, and it says bold to sheer glaze of color. So I really think that it's not going to have any shimmer. It's going to be an easy glide on and um, have a good shine to it. So it should be just a good background white for all kinds of nail art. The last things I picked up were also really exciting and they are the Sally Hansen Salon Effects nail polish strips. I got four of them. The first one is this pattern here, which is like a teal with um, sage green and um, turquoise or blue starfish. And it is called Plenty of Fish, and it says limited edition up here. I thought that was super cute, but definitely saving that for the summer. Then I got this limited edition Sand Art, which is a purple marbleized effect. Love that one. Purple are my school colors, so I thought that'd be fun. And then I got two of these Walk the Plank. Oh my gosh, that's too cute. So it's like a salmon, orangey coral color, and it has a little tiny skull and crossbones at the bottom. And I love how it shows you the example of like where they would put the skull and crossbones. I think that is too cute. And I got two of those. So that's my entire haul. Let me know in the down bar if you just can't have too much Justin Bieber. Um, and I don't remember what else. Oh, what to name my owl. What will I name him? All right, until next time, bye.